Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So Windows 10 is going to be getting the new Windows 11 Photos app. And there are reports uh, indicating this. And also the new Photos app, which I have already downloaded for Windows 10, is now starting to become available as a download. Now this is not an official download, but nonetheless the fact that it is available, as you can see, um, is a good indication now that Microsoft is going to be pushing out the new Windows 11 Photos app to replace the legacy Photos app that's been around for quite some time in Windows 10. Now, if you would like uh, to try out the new Photos app without waiting for the official download, it's actually quite simple and quite safe to do. I've already done it and everything seems to be okay. Now, how we do this uh, is we head over to this website, which is the online link generator for the Microsoft Store, which I'll leave the uh, web address and the URL down below for you to copy. I'll leave all these details um, down below for you to copy and paste. So it's store.orgadguard.net. Now, what you need to do to download the new Photos app is you need to make sure here to the left that it's set to URL link. Then here in the center, you need to paste this. It's a bit of a mouthful, and um, I'll leave this down below for you to copy and paste. Paste that in, and then here to the right, you select Fast. And then you click on the uh, Generate Temporary Links, and, and that'll take a second or two to generate. Now, this is working um, today, the 16th of August, at the time of posting this video, so just take note of that. Uh, it may not work in the future, but I'll actually leave the download package um, on my... Brentech um, uh, Google Drive uh, page, I'll share it. And if you can't generate a download from this page, then you can just head over to uh, that um, download location from my um, drive storage, which I'll leave a link to as well down below if you'd like to get the M6 bundle to uh, install the Windows uh, 10 um, New Photos app. Now, what we need to do on this page is we need to scroll right down to the bottom after these links have been generated. And this is the link right at the bottom of the page that you're looking for. And all you do is you right click on that and you click save link as. Now obviously um, if you get any warnings with um, ad guards or ad blockers or whatever in your browser, just uh, click through those because this is all okay. It's obviously just coming from an unofficial uh, download location. So that's why your browser will maybe pick it up as something malicious, but just click through those. Everything is okay. Now, once you've downloaded it, you head to your download location. Now, if you're not seeing the actual Windows application package, what you need to do is right-click, click on Rename, and then put .m6 bundle, okay? And then it'll change it to a actual uh, Windows application package if you're not seeing the actual application package, if it's just a file. And as mentioned, I'll also leave this uh, in my Google Drive for you to download if uh, you're not able to get it from the online um, the online um, link generator for the Microsoft Store, as mentioned. Now, with that all out of the way, obviously you just uh, right-click on there, click on Install. If you follow the prompts, uh, it'll take a minute or so to install. It was quite quick on my system. And then once that's installed, uh, you can open the new Photos app, which now replaces the legacy Photos app for Windows 10. Now, this uh, redesigned Photos app... Um, coming over from Windows 11, um, includes a couple of new features and a new user interface to match the look and feel of Windows 11, as you can see. And all of the different categories and options have been moved from the top, like they were in the legacy, to the left-hand menu. So yeah, you obviously got a all photos interface with your photo library. Uh, you've got your OneDrive personal storage. You've got favorites. You've got your local folders. And yeah, you've got your Microsoft storage for your OneDrive if you are using that. And the only thing that it seems not to have at this stage that is over on Windows 11 is the iCloud Photos, which is placed here just between uh, your memories, which by the way is another um, add-on that's uh, quite useful uh, for the new Windows 11 Photos app. So iCloud storage is not available for Windows 10 and is normally found here between memories and favorites over on Windows 11. And that is not available as yet uh, for the Photos app now rolling out to Windows 10. And um, over and above the photo library, as you can see, your all photos, and um, we get those 
uh, the OneDrive integration and the memories as mentioned. And something else to take note of though is that this update will remove the old video editor, the legacy um, uh, the legacy photos app video editor. So if we just scroll down, it will remove this. This won't be accessible anymore as an app. But what it will do is it will point you in the direction of ClipChamp, um, which is the new Microsoft's web-based video editor. So just take note of that. The legacy video editor will be removed with this Photos app installation. And um, moving over now from Windows 11. Now, um, something else to take note of, if you don't like this new version, you can just head up to the new settings. And yeah, you will see a option. Photos Legacy. So if you don't like the new version, you can click on this Get Photos Legacy and it will replace this new Windows 11 Photos app with the Legacy Photos app. And obviously that's um, until it rolls out officially as an official app for Windows 10. And over and above that, you get all the different settings. And that's just a quick walkthrough, as mentioned. And that's how you can get the new Photos um, app, the Windows 11 Photos app now for the uh, Windows 10 operating system. And as mentioned, this is not an official download. But nonetheless, if you want to try it out before it does become an official download, then just follow the steps as mentioned in this video. So thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.